everyone. I'm Gina. I'm Gina Renee RM Budgets. You guys know who I am. You know what I do. If you don't, then hit that subscribe button so you can find out. I am here today to share with you my payday routine. I do four important steps every payday and it has transformed my finances in a major way. And we're going to go through those steps today and every two weeks hereafter. I'm going to follow this same process so you guys can see exactly how I do it. So right now we're going to get right to step one. Step one, the night before-ish payday, the day before, if I know I'm not going anywhere else, I go to my purse and empty out my wallet. So here's my little trusty wallet. First place I go is where I tuck away my change and my dollar bills and my fives if I have any. So I feel a little bit of change. This process I do every day. And the reason I do it every day is because I don't want to tempt myself to spend the fives and ones that I've tucked away. So there goes my loose change into my change is good bank. So that part is done. So then I look and see what I have in fives and ones. What am I doing? And so looks like we have one, two, three, four dollars. So before I go any further, I grab my current one dollar challenge. I got four dollars, so I'm going to color in four letters. So we're going to add four to what we have. And right now for saved by grace through faith, that's Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we got three dollars left to go until we complete this challenge. We can put that back. So then let's go to the wallet and I see if I have anything left. All right. So essentials I can see is at zero. So now I want to go and take my cash tracker here that I have available for sale and I clear it off. Every two weeks I start it over. So these are matte finish. These are A7. I have them in all the different pastels and they're reusable. So I'm cleaning them off. And I'm just using an alcohol pad. So I'm going to put this back and it's ready for when I cash stuff. So these particular envelopes that I have, these are matte and they're clear back. The only color on it is the label. So I show my tracker through the back so I always know what's inside my envelope. Okay, so gas again. I have nothing left. Here's my tracker. I'm going to clean it off. Make sure it's dry before you put it back. And then I put that one in there and it's ready for payday. Okay. So it looks like spending. We got something. Okay, so we got 20 left in spending. So I did pretty good with that. So again, I'm going to clean this off because I started zero. So let's clean this off. All right, ready to go for next time. And I also let that one show through the back. Miscellaneous, wow, I got $10 left in miscellaneous. And then we're gonna clean this one off. Okay, so now I'm all set for when I'm ready to stuff my wallet. Put that off to the side and then I have a new challenge and I'm going to start my challenge coffee with my Nomi. So there's 10 coffee cups, no 10, 11 coffee cups because I counted the Gnome's coffee cup as well. 
So there's 11 coffee cups. So I'm gonna do 10 for each coffee. And then there's one, two, three, four little cookies and I'm gonna do 20 for each cookie. So I got $30 left. So I'm gonna color in one cookie and one coffee. Let me move it up so you guys can see. So we'll start with this cookie down here at the bottom. I'm gonna fill in the circle. And I guess we'll go ahead and fill in this one closest to it. And that'll be 10 for coffee. All right, and then this is gonna go into my envelope. All right, so, so far we've one cookie and one coffee and the money's in our envelope. So the next thing I'm gonna do off camera is to just make sure my trackers inside here are correct. And it looks like so far they are correct. I think I must have done them. This is my revolving sinking fund. So a lot of times I end up using those during the pay period. These are my dated and they have pur it's purpose funds. So normally I won't use these if I don't have to because they have a specific purpose in mind. All right. And that's how I keep mine together. So that's step one. Stay tuned. And we're going to move on to step two, which will be reconciling my spending account. I need to make sure all my bills have been paid as planned. And I need to zero out my account if need be. So sometimes I have, you know, got some money during the pay period and I didn't spend it or reallocate it. And so I'll go through and make sure my account is down to, I don't go to zero, but I go down to about $5 and move whatever's over that into my zero out um, challenge savings account. All right, so stay tuned. So let's start here at my calendar. We got one more bill that posted today. So looking back from payday, we have everything checked off. That means it's been paid and posted all the way up until here's today. This all takes place on my payday, but I didn't really have a lot of space. My paycheck really posts on Wednesday, but it's like a weird time, like in the evening, like four o'clock in the evening. So I don't, you know, budget any bills that are due that day because, you know, if you got an auto pay, it's going to come out first thing in the morning. <laughs> so any actual bills that are due on my payday, I cover those with the previous paycheck just to be on the safe side. So we've got everything done. I go here and as you can see, I have crossed out everything that I plan to pay. There's nothing left there. Then my spending, basically, we just zeroed out everything and emptied out the wallet. So here, when I do stuff, I'll write down the amounts that I stuffed here. This is my cash breakdown. We'll get to that. And then here's all my spending tracked. And it looks like $6.14. So I'll only transfer a dollar and 14 cent to my zero out account. Cause I like to keep a little buffer. I don't need much cause I know exactly what's going in and out, but just to be on the safe side, I leave that little bit of a buffer. And then I'm all set for the next pay period. I have two expense trackers for the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. And by the end of the month, I'll be recounting my sinking funds to see where I am, as well as my savings challenges. So I only have three. I just, I'm starting a new one with this pay period. So let's go ahead and put that in while we're here. All right. And what we're going to do is... We're starting at zero because it's a brand new challenge for March. All right, so 
we got that done. We're zero, zero out our account, and we're going to move on to budgeting the next paycheck. All right, so here we are. I'm expecting $28.75. My amount went up a little bit because I had made some changes to my insurance, and it wasn't like it was still some money old, so it didn't go up as much as I planned. So I'm planning for $28.75. That's a rough estimate because I'm not real sure. But I'm going to put up half of my uh, mortgage car note in insurance. I'm going to put up the other half of my rent that I pay for my daughter while she's in school. I'm going to plan for... $90 for subscriptions, $60 for Memphis's pet insurance, $150 for the other half of my AT&T bill. The, the first half is already in a savings account. Then I need to pay my dad $375 because I'm paying him back for something. So that will total $1825 for my fixed expenses. For my Debt payments, I have one, two, three, four credit card payments and then two online payments totaling $255. My essentials, I needed to adjust down a little bit, number one, because I really don't need any groceries. I know for a fact that we can go two weeks without really buying anything. So I just gave myself $100 just in case. Spending, I went with 200, 100 each for me and Kevin. Miscellaneous 50, and of course, gas 150 for each week. That totals up 450. And I'm supposed to be paying 51 into my Friday challenge. And that will leave me with $269 for sinking funds. So my dated is already. Like a certain amount I put in my dated funds all automatically, and that's 105. And then my undated, what I end up doing is I put all my amounts in, and then whatever the balance is, I put in my emergency fund. So once I went through and put in my expected amounts, I leave my emergency fund blank. And then if I have a balance, fine. If I don't, fine. But this time around, I have $50 balance. So I'll put that completely in my emergency fund. All right? And then I just go through. I like to get big bills for my wallets. I get gas because I'm doing two weeks. And I just go and tally up. Friday, I need a 50 and a 1. Is that one right line? Yeah, it's hard to see this angle. 50 for household, 25 for self-care, 10 for travel, 10 for kiddos, 10 for Memphis, and 10 for his and hers. Annual payments, I'll get a 20, 35. Virgo is 10, 15. Then anniversary Capricorn, $10. Credentials is $5. Emergency fund, and I'll get a 50. Thanksgiving will be a 10, and Christmas will be a 20. All right, so I tally this up. I already know this should equal 771. That's my up here, it's 771. So I need it to balance over here. So I need three hundreds, which is 300. I need two, three, four, five fifties, which is 250. I need one, two, three. I thought I had more. Oh, I see what I did. Six, this is six. Let me do this because I want it to be the way I want it. I don't want to just not correct something because I messed up on camera. So my miscellaneous, I like to break it down. So I need a 20, two tens and two fives. Yeah. All right. So fives, I need, I mean, fifties, I need five, which is 250. Twenties, I need four, which is 80. Tens, I need two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven which is 110. Fives, I need two, three, four, five, six, which is 30. No twos. And one, one. All right. So let's get out our calculator. Let's get it right over this. So we got 300. 771. And so that equals here. If I take my cash breakdown right here and I just transfer what I need on here. So I need three hundreds. I need five fifties, which is two fifty. I need four twenties, which is eighty. 
I need 11 tens, which is 110. I need six fives, which is 30. I don't need any twos, and I need one, one, and that equals 771. And we already checked, double checked that. So this is what I'll take to the bank. And then I'll go on to step four once my check post, and that will be the cash stuffing. So stay tuned for step four. Guys, now it is time officially for the good part, finally. <laughs> And that is the actual cash stuffing. That's when we get a little bit of money to, to spend and where we actually put up a little money for savings. So that's always a good thing for us budgeters. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to start off and count and see how much we're stuffing this week. All righty, 100, 200, dollars $700, let's get it in the tray. All right, so first thing we're going to stuff is my favorite one, my wallet. Okay, because it's empty. Well, we emptied it out. I'm, not, I'm gonna be fair, because I did have some money left this time around. So, okay, essentials. We are only doing 100 this time, because I don't need anything per se, but I don't like to just not have anything at all. And then gas, we always do 250s, one per week. So our 250s for gas. My wallet never takes a long time to stuff because spending is 200. One of them is Kevin's, but I'll give it to him when I get a chance. And then miscellaneous, I said a 20, 30, 40, 5, 50. 20, 30, 45, 50. And that's it for our whole wallet. That was short and sweet. Thank God, because this video is long, trying to do everything in one video. All right, so we're done with that. So next up is this binder. It's the only one that we'll use today. This is my binder from Simple Shops that I love with one of her old dashboards in there. All right, so we're going to go with Friday, and we're going to do 22 and the bonus 29 today. And that's going to give us a completed March. Can y'all see this, I hope? All right, so we are going to add 51, which is 29 plus 22. So we're just going to do a 50 and my one little one little dollar bill, $50 bill. And let's see where we are so far through March for the Friday Challenge. We're at 150, 70, 85, 87, 88. We're at 188. That's good. Moving right along. So next up, my coffee with my Nomi doesn't get stuffed unless I have extra money in my wallet. Household is getting 50 and I spent the last 50 at, I believe, Sam's Club. Self-care is getting 25. So that's it for self-care. Sorry, this is a long video, but I have to do whatever works for time constraints. Travel is getting $10. $30. All right. Kiddos. Oh, wait, I gave my son $10 out of here. So it's going to get $10. Take that. 
and 20. Man, Memphis getting ten dollars. We used his. All right, ten for Mr. Memphi. His and hers. We also used it for some skincare products, and it's just gonna get ten dollars today. So these are all my revolving sinking funds or undated is another way to say it. But that's why some of them, I go in and out of these quite frequently. All right. So next up is our dated. So these have a specific purpose. So I tend to not go in them unless needed. Okay. So for annual payments this week, we're saving 35 again be 70. So we got 20, 40, 50, 65, 70 in annual payments. All right. And then Virgo, we're going to add 15. So, this envelope is 10, 20, 35, 40. So, we're getting up there for little Virgo's birthday. It's not till September, so we can have a nice little amount of change. Just putting that little bit to the side. Anniversary, we're adding 10. Something right. I must have used 10 from here for something. And I didn't update the tracker, but I'll fix it. Capricorn, we got 20 and we're adding 10. So here goes our 30 for Capricorn. Credentials is only getting five because it's a while away. Last five is for credentials. Emergency fund is getting 50 this time. So we have 20, 50, 70, 80 in emergency fund. That picked up quick. This is a new envelope. Thanksgiving. 10, we got 30, 10, 20, 30. I got an extra 10, I think. Christmas is getting only 20. What is that? So 20, 40, 60 in Christmas. All right, y'all, uh, where did I not do a 10 at? Hold on. It was 10 short, our anniversary. All right, this one. See, it's supposed to have 30. It only has 10. But I know I added 10, though. But we're just going to put it there. Because I don't know what happened. And we are all set. Our sinking funds are stuffed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my four steps to life-changing payday routine. If you guys like this video, thumbs up. If not, comment down below. Let me know if it's like too long, too much. Should I try and break it up? I, want, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to break it up or not. I really don't want to. I want to just finish this and get it over with. Um, but let me know down below. As always, I wish you guys what? Peace, love, and prosperity. Bye, guys.